This Christmas, New Year, Sankranti, Ziva Fertility offers you a 30% discount on IVF packages. To know more about this, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen or visit your nearest Ziva Fertility Center. Thank you. Hi, I am Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's talk about what gives us a better result with IVF. Is it a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer? Well, both are more or less the same, but we'll try to understand the concept behind each. Fresh embryo transfer may result in a faster time to pregnancy. Let's talk about what embryo transfer is it to begin with to differentiate between fresh and frozen. So embryo transfer is the procedure where uh, embryos that are formed by the procedure of IVF are transferred back into the uterus of the woman. Now, when it is transferred in the same cycle as the eggs have been retrieved, it is called as a fresh embryo transfer. When they are not transferred in that cycle in which the eggs are retrieved and the embryos are frozen to be transferred in a next cycle, then it is called as a frozen embryo transfer. So as you can understand, the fresh embryo transfer might result in a faster time to pregnancy because in the same month that the eggs are removed, the embryo is also transferred and may result in a successful pregnancy. In a frozen embryo transfer, the embryos are frozen and in the next month or whichever month that the endometrium is ready, the embryos are transferred back into the endometrium. Now that is why it takes a little longer time to pregnancy than a fresh embryo transfer. There are many reasons why a clinician might decide to do a frozen embryo transfer as compared to a fresh embryo transfer. There may be moments when the endometrial receptivity window could be out as in the endometrium because of all the injections that have been given for egg stimulation, for ovarian stimulation may have caused some disruptions in the endometrium because of which it is not ready for an embryo to implant. In such moments, your doctor will decide to postpone the embryo transfer. How do they decide? They look at the endometrial thickness and take a decision. They do a lot of blood tests, especially progesterone tests to analyze if your endometrium is receptive for an embryo. Based on that, they decide to transfer the embryos in that cycle or the next cycle. There is another factor called ovarian hyperstimulation during which it is better not to transfer embryo back into the uterus which is when they take the decision to do a frozen embryo transfer. Many times when there are many embryos present and uh, we have a lot of selection, lot of good grade embryos, then transferring one single embryo even if the endometrium receptivity is on the borderline as in uh, the clinician is not able to clearly say that it is not receptive for embryo transfer or for an implantation of embryo then the clinician might transfer one single and freeze the rest but if the embryos are few and the endometrium is looking even slightly compromised the new clinician will decide for you to have a frozen embryo transfer which could be disappointing but it is the best decision for you and the chance of having a pregnancy will be increased in subsequent cycles if you want to understand more about embryo transfers or ivf in general please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you